Late fall here in Ontario means two things. A little nostalgia, thinking about the year that's gone by, and to drive that fast car one last time before the snow sets in. We're gonna do both. On the nostalgia side, think about the automotive world and how it's so difficult to go back. Look at the modern Mustang. It sort of gets it, but it's not quite there. The modern Camaro is just a swing and a miss on the design as far as I'm concerned. But today, we're gonna drive a Dodge. We're gonna drive a Dodge Challenger RT with a Hemi in it. And it, it, well, just look at it. It's beautiful to look at, but it's also beautiful to drive, which is a distinction from the old cars. The old cars were piles of crap to drive, but this car, gives you everything that nostalgic muscle car gave you in the 70s and does it with a modern car that's a lot of fun. And I'm talking about fun on the level of the Subaru STI, fun on the level of the Corvette. But this is a first impression drive. First time I've ever sat in one of these things, save the Dodge Viper Cup pace car, which is an automatic and frankly, we only use it for hanging a cameraman at the back while we pace the field. But this is the first time I've driven one with a proper six speed in it. And the RT version with the Hemi is just an unbelievably fun car to drive. Everything works perfectly. You know, it's a proper muscle car. Everything in here is simple, laid out normally, just like the late 60s and early 70s. It's got a brilliant, transmission in it, a clutch that feels like a clutch, no flappy paddles, no extra accoutrements, and the only nanny button in here is the one that shuts off the traction control. <laughs> and thank goodness it's there. You know, it's tight, it's crisp, it drives a heck of a lot smaller than it looks. It's easy to point, and if you didn't get it pointed quite right, you can always use the rear tires. <laughs> On the track, I imagine it would be all kinds of fun. And a good place to do that is Viper Days, where they have 10 or 12 of these Mopar festivals all over North America. And you can sign up for a two-day driver education program and get your car going faster than it's ever gone before. And it may just change your attitude forever about what one of these cars is all about. It doesn't have to be Viper Days. But I go there all the time. We might be able to run into each other. Parking turns out to be kind of an issue because the dimensions of this thing aren't completely clear to you when you first get in it. That's the same with any car. By the time you park it, you're just trying to find another excuse to drive it. As far as the first gear is concerned, as you engage in traffic, it gets you going and gets you up to top revs in a hurry it's more of a stump puller first gear, really, where second does just fine. And in third, well, in urban traffic, you simply wouldn't have to switch it out of third. You know, there's just nothing to criticize in here. So from the nostalgia point of view, you could go back and get a real RT from the 70s, or you could buy this 2010 real RT, crown it, and have it for the rest of your life. So at the end of the day, you have to ask yourself, do you need a car like this? Well, no, you don't need a car like this. It's a modern muscle car, for goodness sake. But do you want a car like this? Yeah, baby, you want a car just like this. Ah!